lesbian. Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, which I know a few of you are new members, so thank you so much for subscribing. My name's Izzy, I'm 33 years old and by trade I'm a corporate solicitor, but I had, I don't want to call it a midlife crisis, but I had a come to Jesus moment probably about two years ago and I realised that the hustle culture is not for me and I wanted to slow down, appreciate life more. We've all got one life to live and I wanted to spend mine enjoying the things I enjoy in life. So this year, um, because I'd made a promise to myself, um, I decided to pursue all the dreams that I wanted to do, including YouTube. So that's how we got here. But now that that's all out the way, um, I'm going on holiday with my friend and her sisters on Wednesday and today's Sunday so I need to get my house ready for when I go on holiday. I'm one of those people who I like to come back to a clean house, freshly made bed um, and obviously because I'm going to be going away for about a week all my plants need some extra love and tender care. <laughs> so we're going to go around today and um, the house itself is not messy. I just need to like do a general tidy up and put things in their place. Come here Susan. Then my two boys are here with me. Come here, Wilfred. Good boy, Wilfred. Here they are. <laughs> Wilfred, can you say hi? Can you say hi? Yeah. <laughs> my two boys are helping me clean up as well. Ooh. Stop it, boys. You're gonna make my camera fall down. Right, outfit today, it's a cleaning outfit, so we don't need to be that clean. It's inspired by like the 90s. Um, so, leggings, oversized men's top, and then this gym workout top as well, um, because it's eight o'clock right now, and I'm gonna take the boys for a walk first before we come back and start cleaning. Um, but before, yeah, before I take the boys for their walk, I'm going to do the washing. All my clothes are here, so let me put the clothes in the washing machine and then we'll get the boys out and walking so they can release all their energy ready for me to come back and tidy. Okay guys, so I've got all of my hanging plants that don't have a catch pot absorbing water in here and I've added a little bit of this miracle Grow organic fertilizer. This is the one that got damaged when it fell but hopefully it'll grow back. So I'm going to leave these here and then I was just looking at what I was going to be making. Got my protein smoothie. And we're just gonna go around the house. 
these need to be put away because there's nothing worse than coming back to rotting flowers in the house. So I'm going to put these in the compost, water the plants, put this upstairs in the office. The living room is kind of tidy. I've just got my gym bag here because I need to take out the stuff and make sure everything's washed. Clothes are hanging. I need to do a general clean. The rug needs to be in the washing machine. And yeah, so let's get started. We're watering the plants. And then we'll vacuum the downstairs. I've put on harvesting my potatoes but it's time I harvested them before the squirrels get to them whilst I'm on holiday so that's one of the other tasks that we've got to do I've got my little ball here hi Wilfred no down you're gonna make me dirty let's harvest what are you doing you want to help me harvest the potatoes okay let's do that then you can help me
safest place for me to keep them is in there for now. So I'm going to take these potatoes that we harvested today and make myself some lunch. Let's go with this. I'm also going to take a spring onion. It's going so big. And I'm going to have it for my potatoes. But yeah. Oh, so I haven't seen my sister um, or my niece nephew all weekend and my sister just asked me if I wanted to go to the garden centre to meet them. Wilfred, you're staying. You're not going. Okay? To go meet them. So that's what we're going to go do. I'm just gonna have a little look around the indoor plant section, but I don't plan on buying anything. Just wanna pop around and see what they've got whilst I wait for my sister to contact me. She's gone home to put the little one down. These are beautiful. This colour at least. But that pollen, not for me. Or if you said not for our house. So they seem to have all the rare plants. So, you know how I said I wasn't gonna buy anything? Look at this variegated Hardisonii. And then they've got Thai constellations as well, but they're so small that I'll probably kill it. They're bleaks $12.99. Mine doesn't look anything like this. So I think I was missold it. Guys, it's a few days later. Hold on, my laptop is going off. I thought it signed off already because it's nearly five o'clock. But apparently someone wants to talk to me. wishing me happy holidays yeah this was my work from home outfit just my thrifted jeans you can see them in my thrift hole just here and this old jumper that I've had from H&M it's quite cold here in England right guys I am signing off so let's sign off together and put my out of office on Where were we? This mess. These are all the clothes that I've taken from my, they were hanging to dry and I'm taking them on holiday so I need to fold them up. I was, I've been working, I've literally just signed off so we need to tidy that up as well. And then, let me turn the camera around so you can see what we're working with. Mini heater is on because some of the clothes I'm taking with me and they're not dried yet, so hurry up and dry. Shoes I've organised. Um, I'm going to be taking my Chanel sandals, my vegan Birkenstocks, some trainers to carry on with my running, and I might take my Cos sandals as well, but I'll probably leave them behind and just take three pairs of shoes with my Crocs because I'm a Crocs girl. I've just taken some of my toiletries out of my gym bag that I'll be taking with me. Um, it's just because in my gym bag I keep like the minis and I shouldn't need any more than this um, and some perfumes as well. Right, let's start folding the clothes, trying some on. Um, I've got an itinerary. Guys, I'm trying on some of the clothes as I'm packing them. So let's try them on together. Close the door a bit. This is going to be one of the outfits. I've been told that it's really hot out there. It's like 30 degrees, so I'll probably be carrying this and this. Um, I need to steam this shirt 
Um, I've decided to veto my white shorts because they're just not fitting how I want them to fit. So these ones are going to be staying. Um, and then another outfit that I can do, um, let me just try it on and then I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so I might also do just an all white linen shirt. Again, take my bag with me and that's a look. Yeah. And I'll show you my shoes um, later on, as I've already shown them to you, but I'm planning on taking my black Chanel sandals, my vegan Birkenstocks and some running shoes. But this is another outfit for one of the days. Um, and then let me show you something that's not white. I do have a lot of white, but I've also got a few items that are not white. So let me show you that. So this is one of my beach outfit guys this bikini is from asos from years ago now and these are linen blend trousers with pockets from um where did i get them from from sainsbury's um plus an oversized men's shirt that i've thrifted before in the past but yeah so really like this option as well and i'll probably wear my crops with this or my black chanel sandals again this bag will work or oh, i've got my big canvas bag that i'm going to be using as my beach bag my beach bag as well and um, the plan is not to take too many bags i've got like a cute little bag that i'm going to be using for dinner um and i can take that as well with me in my beach bag if i go to the beach so it's got all my secure stuff in there but yeah, so I've also got some dresses. So we've got theme nights. Um, I'm going with my friend and her sister. We've got a few theme nights going on. One of the themes are wearing red and then we've got a black and white theme and also a floral theme. So I've got dresses for those themes. I'll show them to you now and then we'll get packing. So this is the dress that I'm gonna wear for my floral. This one, um, I'm just going to wear the top bit. I'm not going to wear the slip. Um, so I'm going to wear a bikini underneath and then put this on top for white um, day. Or I might wear like a black swimsuit underneath and then this on top. But we'll see. But yeah, this will be for black and white night. Um, and then for red night, this is what we've got. I got this made when I was in Rwanda in January and it's got more colours than red but this is as red as I've got in my wardrobe so this is going to have to do and this is all the way to the floor and you can't even see my toes and drugs on the floor because I'm that short but I love it and it's got matching hair bubbles while well, that'll be wearing on the night um, and then I've just packed as well just like a, a little dress that can wear as a beach cover up or for one of the travel exploring days um and then i can have a swimsuit underneath so i can jump in water as and when but yeah i think this is i'll get folding all of this now put it put it all in its packing cubes and then i'll go through what's in my packing cubes before i put it in the suitcase with you guys um for now i'm just gonna listen to some music and get packing probably gonna call my friend as well and see what she's doing so I'll catch up with you guys later. Guys, you know what they say about the best laid plans or the best made plans, whatever the saying is, hold on. I It is now the day of the travel, so it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving my house at seven because I need to go drop off Zuzu at his grandparents' house because they're looking after him whilst I'm gone. Wilfred's already there. And I'm just doing my skin prayer. And <clears throat> my friend, um, when I was talking to her last night when I was packing, I told you guys, asked me whether I could eat cheese when 
we were on holiday because obviously we're going to Croatia and Montenegro which is quite Mediterranean and I'm lactose intolerant and gluten intolerant so I took my lactase and I had like a homemade pizza for dinner and oh my without going into too much information all I'm gonna say is I'm a few pounds lighter for my holiday and I will definitely not be having any cheese whilst in my way. My stomach is still painful right now. Oh, so I didn't get time to pack. Like as soon as I started, like finished eating the cheese, my stomach started hurting. I started getting stomach cramps, really bad bloating. I looked as, as if I was six months pregnant and the worst pain. And I'm actually afraid that I might have triggered my endometriosis because my lower back is killing me now as well. So that was a very bad decision. Right. We don't have much time. You can see how I slept on the bed with all my clothes on. Um, but they're all in there. Packing cubes. All I have to do, yeah. My loft is still open as well. I'll put that away. All I have to do is fill up my suitcase. So let me go do that. Let's quickly go through one packing. This is my toilet bag. It's got all of my makeup. I'm not bringing much. It's literally just eyebrow, um, mascara, and uh, my face wash, my skincare. Everything's in here. Um, got my little jewelry box with just some jewelry that I plan on wearing, mainly gold and blues and yeah, so that's packed. And then in here I've got all of my evening dresses plus my little beach bag. Um, this has got, sorry, this has got all of my beach dresses, my evening dresses. This has got my pyjamas and my workout clothes, the previous one. Pyjamas and workout clothes. Um, this one, it's all my underwear plus my accessories. Um, so like my belts and stuff like that. And then I've also put in my bottoms. So I didn't bring that many. I literally got a white, white linen trousers, black trousers, black shorts and denim shorts. That's it. Those are all the bottoms that I bought. I say that's it. We're going for seven nights and I've got four bottoms and probably about four dresses. So hold it right there. These are all my shirts, so my tops. I've got shirts and um, like little t-shirts. I've actually got one and I've got to add in just a plain white t-shirt. You can't go wrong with that. Um, so I'm just gonna add it in. An already packed, pretty packed bag. Um, right, oh, let's squeeze it. I'm hoping that if I squeeze the packing cubes, I won't have to squeeze the suitcase. There we go. And then this final packing cube has got all my bikinis and swimsuits and beach cover ups all in here. Um, and then I'm just taking two little bags for um, dinners plus my sunglasses and my glasses to see so yeah that's what we're bringing um i like to have options and why not if you've got the space so don't judge <laughs> or judge if you do i don't mind um all right let's close that this is the hair bonnet that I'll be bringing for my long braids for when I go to bed. Um, this is what I take with me on the plane. So I'll just show you quickly what's inside. It's my liquids that I'll need to show. Um, this, this is all I need to take. Everything I'll just check in. This is just my skincare, just in case anything goes missing. Um, and a bit of mascara, again, doubling up, um, just in case and i've got a face mask that i'll do on the plane i've got hand wipes um, i'm anal about this i wipe the whole plane when i sit down so i've got two packets i've got tissues face mask because yes i wear face mask 
Um, and then I've got my phone case as well, my waterproof phone case. Um, and this is just gonna go into my carry-on. Um, my jewelry would also be going into my carry-on just because I've got a few diamonds and gold pieces in there that are sentimental. Um, I got them from my parents for big events. I don't wanna lose them. Um, so that's gonna go in. I take my Bible with me. This is my travel Bible. Um, and then my passport as well. So let's put all of this in the suitcase. This is our hospital. Hospital. <laughs> this is our airport outfit. Just a little black tank top with some Adidas um, tracksuit, an oversized linen blend shirt, and then my Kigali cap as well. Um, and then I'm just gonna go put on my cashmere socks because I like to wear socks on the plane. So I'll bring my cashmere socks and my Birkenstocks and then I might just bring a cashmere cardigan as well because it is cold in the UK and it will be cold when we're coming back as well possibly so I don't want to catch a cold um I just need to select a book um what do I want to read on holiday I think I'll take this one Never kiss your roommate. This is a um, lesbian, like young adult romance. And I love a black girl who's a lesbian. Love to support. And then I'll also bring this one. So these are the two books I'm bringing. Bed's made, it's not my best making. I'm just gonna quickly water these plants that are hanging in my room because they need a water um tomorrow is their watering day um and then that should be it we're packed and ready to go and it's not even half six yet so i've got time to not half six yet so i've got time to have a coffee a little play with zuzu just to say goodbye and i feel good i like being prepared suitcases packed and ready everything fit really easily there's actually plenty of space i'm tempted to bring a bottle of non alcoholic Prosecco for us to open on the first night. I've got the room, why not? Decision made, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise the girls with some champagne. They don't drink as well, so it works out. I forgot to take these flowers out. They're gonna need to be chucked out as well. I don't wanna come home to rotting flowers. My stomach is still a bit upset. So that's gonna be an interesting plane ride. Luckily, it's only a few hours. I think it's two and a half hours, three hours max. So we should be fine, but it's not oh, ideal. I'm dripping water everywhere. And that's my alarm to say it's time to stop. I left 
Alexa, stop. Good morning, how you go? Time to get back home. In Nottingham, it's 10 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect lots of clouds, with a high of 23 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. It's actually going to be hot today. These dead flowers to the bin with me. I've got my cashmere socks, my books, my fan, head, passport. Here, yeah, everything's ready. So let's go. Okay, guys, so we're doing a final check of the house. This is the final outfit. I decided to wear just my cotton jumper on top. And yeah, ready to go to the airport. All the windows in the bedroom are closed, so this room is ready to be closed and shut off. Actually, I might leave the doors open just to allow the plants air. This is the only room that's messy, but what can I do? I'm out of breath as well. Okay. Dining room is left tidy and clean. I've decided to just pack it in the suitcase. I'm gonna do that now. This is my carry-on. That's all done. Made myself a coffee to go. Kitchen is nice and tidy so we can shut shop. Windows is closed. All tidy. I've got the bins ready to be put out as well on my way out. And Zuz is ready to go to be dropped off from my parents. So, yeah, so like I was saying, I'm just going to quickly finish everything that I need to do. I've got 10 minutes and then I have to be going. So I'll probably catch up with you guys either on the bus on the way to the airport or at the airport when I meet the girls. Oh, we're ready now. I'm finally getting excited. <laughs> I can't wait. saying I've just made it to London it just passed quarter to 12 so I think oh, I'm vlogging and people are looking at me yeah I think I'm gonna end it here and I'll start vlogging for the holiday so thank you so much for spending the time with me to pack and close shop at my house before going on this lovely girls trip and stay tuned because we're going to be having some holiday vlogs. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!